I would say good design, although you're not going to see it here, is simplicity. The idea of editing, subtracting, as opposed to making something overwrought, and being authentic. Hi, I'm Mark Ballett. Um, welcome to my loft, my little triplex here in NoHo, New York City. Come on in and take a look. The first thing you see when you come into my loft is this long hallway. And the hallway I've made into a gallery of photography that's been given to me over the years. This first series of pictures are of Italian actresses and models. Everyone from Silvana Mangano to Elsa Martinelli to Sophia Loren. And then you come to a photo that Herb Ritz took of me and uh, my great friend uh, Pee Wee Herman and Carol Channing. Here's a piece of architecture that I did called Not at Home and it's always a play on words with my architecture. This is another piece of architecture that I did called My Bridge Hampton. This is one of the last pictures of my old boss, Andy Warhol. I was the art director of Interview Magazine from 76 to 87. I went up to Andy at the factory and I said, could I be the art director of Interview? And he said, okay. And that's how I got my job at Interview. This was the only place I wanted to live in New York, and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this space as an architect. I designed it so that it would take you from this low place suddenly to this lit, large space with 20-foot high ceilings. Part of the drama of walking in is having these movie curtains and these windows. I didn't find couches that I really liked, so I designed them and had them made. And for me, a good couch always has a wide armrest. In back of me is the dining room table, which I also designed. The great uh, Sputnik light hanging over the dining room table I found with my really great friend, Paul Rubens. He found that and he also got me three different lava lamps as gifts. You know, photography was super important, having worked in different magazines for most of my life. A whole range of photographers have given me photographs. I've been so happy to have them and so happy to display them. There are two duck bowls here and I ordered one and it came broken. And I said, look, you have to send me another one. And the other one arrived perfect. What I didn't know is that my housekeeper had slowly pieced all the pieces together again and brought it back to me. So I have two. We've seen this spot. Let's go into the office and I'll show you where I'm doing my current work. So my architecture is uh, work that I started when I was at Rhode Island School of Design, and it really is about creating these worlds, these places. Sometimes they're commentary on society, they're commentary on other architects' work, or they're just places where, Jesus, I'd love to live. Some of the pieces that are just around is a piece I did way back at school that I still love called Rome with Three Colosseums. And this was before computers, everybody. So it was me, Uncle Mark, cutting out each Colosseum and pasting it together. That piece over there is a model that I built showing if Frank Gehry, the famous architect, designed suburban housing. So that was my take on just because you can do it doesn't mean you have to do it. And in the other room, you can see there's a housing development I built. It's called the Garden Apartments. It's surrounded by a beautiful blue moat, and you can get ranch-style roses or split ranch roses to live in, as one would. So this is the third floor, the top floor of the loft. I sort of went for a Malibu beach house look up here. It's pretty clean and I just love the blonde wood feel and the low bed is always important to me. I wanted air to circulate around it and light and not make it such a focal point. For me, light is so important. It's one of the main reasons I love this place. The light was done by an incredible sculptor named Andrew Logan in London. And it is a cloud. It could be a cloud or it could be a submarine. But I love it very much, and it's going to come with me wherever I go. Beyond the space itself, what drew me to this place was the idea of having two outdoor spaces in Manhattan. This one, which I built a shower, a hot water shower outside, and then the other which overlooks Broadway and is such a fantastic place to be able to relax on the other side. All the planting was done here over a period of 35 years that I've been here. There's butterflies that come, there's bees that are here. It's really a fantastic spot. 
As an added plus, not everyone gets to have their very own water tower in the middle of Manhattan. And this has been a source of conversation and joy for the whole time I've been here. Thank you guys so much for coming over and hanging out with me at my dream house for over 35 years. I'm going to hang out outside here in nature, and uh, you can show yourself out. Before you go, let us know if you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive tours.